it's very important for all of us to uh, really do and really start to, to play a part in uh, managing our own waste. So our landfill uh, is only limited. These waste, after we dispose it out from our eyesight, it doesn't mean it get disappeared. You know, someone behind the scene is doing this job, you know, to upcycle, to recycle them. At the Centre Management Office of IPC Shopping Centre and at the same time uh, we are also operating a Recycling and Buyback Centre so in short term we call it RBBC okay, As you understand from the term itself, Recycling and Buyback Centre we basically have two main components so one is buyback and one is recycle so the buyback category we are taking uh, six main major categories from the community so these six recyclable items are mainly um, cardboard, plastic, uh, books, paper um, tin, aluminium. So, and while well, for the recycling part, I mean, we, we do not actually offer uh, the buyback, but we are collaborating with some of the um, reputable green makers uh, or the recycler themselves that we are collecting uh, these additional seven categories of the waste. Basically, styrofoam, uh, tetrapride, glass, fabric, food waste, um, e waste, as well as the hazardous waste, such as the light bulbs, you know, the fluorescent tubes. If it's larger items, uh, definitely we have to see what are the components, uh, the type of waste that in that larger item. But we are talking, if we are talking about like furniture or some other bulky item, uh, we don't really take that. But there are some other recyclers in the market that for sure the community can reach out to them. They can even make a call or they will go to the doorstep uh, to pick it up. So you can just simple Google online and you will be able to find this recycler. First, they need to understand what type of waste, you know, that is the first step of segregation. So what type of waste can be recycled and cannot be recycled. And the second step is, if it is a recycled, can be recycled waste, so then they have to make sure it is not contaminated. Then third, they have to make sure it is clean. They rinsed it, they dried it before they send it to us. So whatever that is contaminated, unfortunately, it is going to the landfill and we are creating more uh, impact to the land. Because you know, landfill, you do not know how many years it takes to biodegrade themselves. Uh, it may take up to 100, 200 years you know, if it is plastic or some other items. So we have to first know about um, recycling. We need to make sure, like the three steps itself, what items. You know, we need to segregate it out, make sure it is not contaminated, and we clean it before sending it to the recycling centre. I believe we, we all need to be more cautious or more conscious in such a way that these uh, ways it doesn't just get disappeared right so we have to make an effort to recycle them a lot more so that uh, we eventually you know it give you added value if you send it to the buyback center if not most importantly we only have one mother earth to live on so i think we all have to play a significant part in looking into the waste management issues now